such a useful thing to do because the opportunity to meet people who are working in the field and, and to meet like-minded scholars as well, I think was really beneficial. Interacting and meeting with a lot of young people was really good, really um, buoyed the spirits that the similar people as me out there working on some similar things. That, um, it's good to have those connections and networks. The people that are there have, have been working in the field for a long time and they can give a lot of experience to say, look, you know, um, this might be a better avenue of going down this path rather than throwing all your resources into this and then being disappointed at the end. So that's probably what's changed since the conference as well, meeting different people and now being involved in Crawford. I'm really keen to pursue this line of work a bit more than what I have been doing. Before going, I was already pretty certain that food security and working with developing nations was where I see myself in my career, um, but going there pretty much just cemented that for me. There's so many adventures you can have in agriculture. Food security means to me um, uh, pro the provision of adequate um, food in a sustainable manner in all countries from developing nations to more developed nations. You go and work in some of these places and, and um, agriculture is a crucial part of their lives so they you're really making you're really making a difference when you go to these places. Yeah it's definitely definitely a worthwhile experience. Hearing some of the guest speakers at the conference made me um, looking at internships with the WF the World Food Program and the Food and Agriculture Organisation with the UN. Sort of a once in a lifetime opportunity and you know the chance to go to meet other scholars to be involved in the conference is something that's going to give you a lot of confidence it's going to give you you know a new a new base to work from a new network it's going to open new doors so it's, it's very daunting initially when you try to get into this type of work um, that people say, well, what experience have you got and have you been involved in these types of things before? Food security for me is not just the uh, food, food into mouth scenario, but it's about building a system where it's robust enough to have enough food, but also to have something to send to market. And I think the importance of it is, is um, approaching it with an integrated approach, um, working together between different countries and on different platforms to try and achieve that. That's what it is to me. It's very science-based but also social as well. Even if you're a master's student or in your undergrad or your PhD, just go for it because it, it'll really lead to things um, which you, you might not have sought before. It's these uh, the experiences of these people that have been involved in this work for a long time is, is um, gold really from a, an aspect of young people wanting to get involved in this work to just sit down and listen to them and then have them as mentors nearly. So that was really heartening for me to actually see people who were taking the path that I want to go down. So it's kind of inspired me to look at opportunities outside Victoria now a lot more. I met people from WA, Queensland, you know, South Australia, all other people working in overseas regions. It, um, it was really inspiring and, and listening to people who are actually on the field internationally working in food security was fantastic because over here in WA I can be quite isolated. I think we're all, we're all friends on Facebook now and following each other's uh, research throughout uh, Asia and Africa.